we talking about, dear? These videos are not for children. If you are a children, then piss off. Hey there, I'm Vin Fuso. And if you ever watched the show Family Matters, you'll probably recognize this woman as Harriet Winslow. What you're far less likely to recognize is this woman, also as Harriet Winslow. But believe it or not, they both were. Now, I know some of you already knew this because you came to my comment section asking me to talk about this, which I was already planning to do, so it just so happened to work out well for everybody. But the rest of you are probably scratching your heads and squinting really hard, trying to dig deep and search your memory banks for this knowledge. Well, dig no more because I'm here to lay it all down for you. Harriet Winslow was one of the main characters on Family Matters. Well, at least until Urkel came in and made the whole show the Steve Urkel show. I know a lot of people feel that he bettered the show, and in some ways, yeah, he probably did. But for me, personally, he actively killed what could have been a really good show. The Winslows were fine enough on their own, and if you want to add Urkel into the mix, and have him be uh, a supporting character, or, or, or maybe make him the Kimmy Gibbler of, of this black full house, I I'm on board. I'm on board. I get it. But for one reason or another, Steve Urkel captivated the world, and the entire show just centered on him with the Winslows somewhere, like, out of focus. But that's not why I'm making this video, so I should, I should really move on from it. Harriet Winslow was the wife of Carl, the mother of Eddie, Laura, and sometimes Judy, depending on the season you're watching and if the show is actually acknowledging there were more than two Winslow kids. She's probably best known for her dry humor and constant quips. But she was also often shown to be very loving and affectionate. At times, she could even be the voice of reason of the household. She was intelligent, driven, and unlike a lot of other TV moms at the time, she was depicted as being an actual person. You know, outside of having been a person who gave birth to other people. Yes, she was very motherly and she put her children before her own needs. But she was also shown to have her own hobbies, interests, and ambitions. She also must have secretly been a saint because she was constantly sticking up for Steve and just, just no, no, none of that. We, we don't, we, we don't need that. That kid deserves every noogie, swirly, and wedgie I'm assuming he's gotten in his life. I mean, I look at him and I just think, man, I'd really like to hang this kid by his suspenders on a bathroom door in an abandoned school so nobody could help him. She was played by Joe Marie Payton, who did a damn good job in this role. Without a doubt, she still to this day is probably most remembered for her time on the series. If not for playing Sugar Mama on The Proud Family, which is information I, I was unaware of until I made this video. Harriet Winslow was a career-defining performance for her. She was beloved by many a 90s audience, but despite how praised she was for her work on the show, eventually she felt that it was time to move on. She'd been playing the same part for close to 10 years at this point, and she wanted to try her hand at something else. She also, like many fans, felt the show had already jumped the shark and had gone to the point of no return. And you know what, it's really hard to argue that point when you've seen Steve Urkel turn into Bruce Lee because he has a machine that allows him to do so, or when you see Steve Urkel turn into Elvis because he has a machine that can allow him to do so, and then there's an evil Steve Urkel puppet. I don't... I'm, I'm, I'm getting like, like PTSD flashbacks. I don't want to think about it anymore. She was looking for an out, but she was bound by contractual obligations. She had already been plotting her escape for two years before the show switched networks, jumping from ABC to CBS, thus giving her the opportunity to leave the series. She did, however, agree to appear for half of that season to help transition the show into its new channel in time. And that's why eight episodes into season nine, she took her leave, which is a little bit strange to say the least. Typically, when an actor is set to leave a series, their contract is up following the completion of a season. If they do leave mid-season, usually that means there's some kind of behind-the-scenes issues that led to an early departure. However, here, that doesn't seem to be the case. She left the show peacefully on her own accord and was immediately replaced by Judy Ann Elder, who some of you may recognize as Gina's mother from Martin. I, however, don't recognize her as that because I'm in a small minority of people who hated the show Martin. More on that later, don't worry. I'll get there on this channel, I promise you. And I think this is the most insane recasting of a character ever. Joe Marie Payton would always be known as Harriet Winslow. Not only did she play the role to perfection and give the character its own unique personality, but she did so for almost a decade. 
So this wasn't even an Aunt Viv situation where one actress came in and played the role for the first half of the series, and then another actress came in and played the role for the rest of the series. I mean, the Aunt Vivs are divided right down the middle. Aunt Viv 1, seasons 1 through 3. Aunt Viv 2, seasons 4 through 6. Joe Marie played Harriet Winslow on Family Matters for nine years. Nine years. Her replacement played the character for nine episodes. Nothing against this actress who signed on, but she just really didn't stand a chance. With this change in actors meant a change in the scripts. No longer was Harriet her own character. No longer did she have her trademark quips and responses. No longer would she be given her own plots. Now she was just a plot point in someone else's story. Hell, at times she wasn't even that. Sometimes she would just come across as a background actor or, or, or part of the set. As a matter of fact, I don't remember her being seen all that much either. Judy Ann Elder, the woman who was brought in to replace Jo Marie Payton, despite playing the character, isn't even in contention for being Harriet Winslow. She's merely a piece of trivia. All of the cast admit to having a hard time working with Judy Ann Elder, through no fault of her own, but they just couldn't recreate the natural chemistry they had with Jo Marie. And honestly, how could they? They'd spent so much time, so many years, so many hours on sets, and in rehearsal together. There was next to no way that someone could come in, swing through the doors, and have the exact same type of energy with the rest of the cast. They often say when you're working on a project that requires a lot of hours, that cast of people for the time being becomes your family. And that was the type of energy this cast had around each other. Well, and then Harriet Winslow, uh, the mother, got replaced in the last season. Man, that was hard. That was really difficult. When it was time to go, I had, I had already put in ten and a half years I had done this character. Instead of writing the character off, creators Bickley and Warren decided to recast the role, which went to 50-year-old Judy Ann Elder. She left the show, and she was replaced by a wonderful actress who I don't think ever was received the way that she should have been for her talent. It was hard for me to, after nine years to of doing something with one person, it's like getting a divorce. And, and marrying somebody else. She had to come in um, under such adverse circumstances, bearing such a heavy load. Judy, Judy Ann is a wonderful actress um, and a beautiful person. I mean, no, no disrespect to um, Judith who came into play her, but I, I felt like my mom was, was gone. With a show that has success like Family Matters had, man, you know, um, you, you get accustomed to a certain taste. When you're a baker, you don't always want to bake cakes or cookies. You want to bake pies. You want to bake bread. You, I wanted to do something else. There was no way that somebody could come swing through the doors and immediately have that same type of energy with the cast. The fact that she had a significantly shorter stay in the series and in this role definitely didn't help matters at all. But even if she was afforded that same tenure that her predecessor had, I don't think it really would have changed all that much. Joe Marie was Harriet Winslow, and there just was no changing that. And you know what's even crazier? Despite the fact that the show ended with Judy Ann Elder taking over the role of Harriet Winslow, Joe Marie Payton actually returned for the series finale. As a different character. Yeah, wrap your head around that one. It's almost too crazy to be true. And that's because it is. And by is, I mean it isn't. It is not true. That that did not happen. Yeah, that's another weird Family Matters rumor. We, we had the one with uh, Judy walking upstairs and then disappearing into the abyss. And then you have this one. I don't know why the show has so many persistent rumors about what happened on the show. Because it's, it's easily available to watch on Hulu. And I, I watched the last two episodes like three or four times. She is not in them. That just, it doesn't happen. Stop perpetuating these lies and do some goddamn research. This is family matters we're talking about. This is serious business. Joe Marie Payton does not appear in the finale of the series and does not appear in the series at all following her departure from the role of Harriet Winslow. So despite what many, many, many internet sources will have you believe, it's not true. It's a lie. It is not true. You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Though ironically enough, prior to her getting the role of Harriet, Judy Ann Elder was actually on the show previously playing another character. That being Sister Bernadette. Yet nobody talks about that, and that actually did happen. That, that's something that's real. Here, here's the proof. To me, I think it's absolute madness that they would even think about recasting this character. Not only was Joe Marie iconic in this role, 
and beloved by viewers of the show, but she was the reason the show even existed to begin with. A bit of a forgotten fact here is that she originally played the role of Harriet Winslow in the show Perfect Strangers, where she was a series regular. Her time on the show was so well received that a decision was made to spin her and her family off into family matters. No, Harriet used to run the elevator, but now she's got her own show. It's called Family Matters. A lot of people forget that because, well, Family Matters completely eclipsed Perfect Strangers. Literally, without her, there would have never been a Family Matters. And yet, here they are replacing her as if it's just no big deal. I get that everyone's a cog in the machine in entertainment, but she was one of the most integral cogs in the Family Matters machine. You can't just replace that one. Overall, I think time will remember Joe Marie's tenure on Family Matters. And no offense to Judy Ann, but at the end of the day, her time on the show is only just another credit on her already stacked IMDb page. I'm the clown prince of crime, and that was the prince of personality, the Infuso. Or so he says. So if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too want to become a V-tard, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow the man on Twitter, because it's not stalking if it's on the internet, after all. <laughs> Join the fun by joining the Discord. If for some strange reason you want to show support, and I don't know why you would, and if you have a dollar to spare, head over to the SIJW's Patreon, where you can request videos, get exclusive content, and early access to scheduled videos. Or head to his PayPal, where you can buy the shirts. Oh, aren't those lovely? And just remember, if you're not tuning in, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Ah!